Hello and welcome back to the land of Seeker and we finally got a quest to be able to eliminate one of these bandit hideouts. Now I don't know about you but I am actually very much looking forward to this. I've been running around with a very small amount of people just generally because I feel as though that is usually much better for gaining money and experience and basically just focusing on what you want to focus on instead of just you know differentiating so much diversifying too much in regards to your unit types and, and things like that so for example i'm wasting a lot of experience on lamoka units rather than my own custom units gaining most of the experience that they would gain from auto resolves and various other things like that i did a car another caravan ambush as well by the way and i just auto resolved it I literally just auto-resolved it, and uh, I didn't really care either way if I lost a bunch of units or, or anything like that. But I actually didn't lose anyone, surprisingly enough. I think I had a number of casualties, but most of them were not grievously wounded. Mostly due to the fact that we have Lotus in our party, of course. Lotus does have 180 in medicine. So she is obviously extremely powerful in that regard and i have already made her my surgeon in one of the previous episodes so obviously we're gaining all of the benefits of her extremely high proficiency in that skill but otherwise apart from that i am almost i don't know whether you noticed in terms of the amount of gold that i have in my inventory at the moment but i am almost at the point where i might be able to purchase an enterprise in the nearby town and I would love to be able to do that, because if I can actually purchase one of these enterprises, I am going to be in a very nice position. Because I'm going to be gaining decent amounts of cash from my mercenary wages, decent amount from the enterprise hopefully, and hopefully I'm going to be able to increase my amount from my settlement as time goes on as well. Now bear in mind that I am of course going to be... Um, improving my quarry next. I'm not going to improve the marketplace next, but I will improve the quarry to level two. That is going to be my next, my next upgrade that I make. And then from then on, I'm pretty much just going to be upgrading the marketplace again and again. I have no idea whether the marketplace can be upgraded past level two or anything like that, but I'm going to very much hope that that will be the case. Because if that is the case, then I am going to be swimming in cash and it's going to be so nice because then we'll be able to run around with some really strong units of our very own making of course our custom troops and everything's going to be fantastic anyway i'm going to go for a one-on-one -on -one here this is probably not a good idea all things considered Wow, okay, yeah, that guy was actually, <laughs> he was actually a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, but I suppose I kind of should have expected that, considering this mod does have units that are a little bit more difficult to deal with than the base game. And by a little bit, I mean sometimes very, very much so, yes, indeed. Anyway, let's just go in here, fight these guys, and we're just going to auto result. Ah, oh, it seems like we actually had a Lord nearby to us as well not a big fan of that because that is making everything much much easier than we want it to be and i gained three thousand gold from completing that very nice indeed and that means that i am now going to be purchasing the wine press that was the main thing that i wanted to buy here that's going to cost me yeah i know i know it's going to cost me twenty four thousand. Definitely wasn't expecting that. I was thinking to myself, oh yeah, it's going to be like, what, you know, 15,000, 16,000, something like that. Usually in the base game, it's around 14, 15 um, at the start of the game. Obviously, uh, <laughs> it's definitely not as expensive as this, that's for sure. Anyway, let me see. Do I have enough yet? No, I do not have enough stones yet. I'm actually wondering whether I should just very quickly go in here and do a little bit of mining and things like that, because if I can do some mining, get some stones, and then upgrade my quarry, everything is just going to be so, just, just that much easier, really. It's just going to be so much easier. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And uh, you obviously don't have to watch this. All right, so I think that should be enough stone for us right now, and we're just going to exit real quick and take a look. 
There we go. Yeah, that's easily enough stone, as you can see right there. It feels to me like whenever I go and actually get resources, it feels like the resources just, just I don't know, swarm us. And I, I don't even feel as though we're getting a huge amount, but it feels to me like, I mean, it seems like we are getting a, a very small amount and then all of a sudden, boom, you have a massive amount. All right, so there we go. That is going to advance our quarry. That's going to be super nice. And now we are pretty much set, or at least we should be relatively set. So now what I can do is I can start dedicating my cash to making things just that much easier for us. In other words, I can start recruiting more custom troops. I can start, um, you know, investing in more businesses and things like that. And I'm actually going to be increasing my one hand actually i'm going to increase my athletic skill and my leadership skill is uh yeah is combat tips there we go all right so yeah that's what we like to do and now i'm just going to actually see how much the enterprise is going to give me i really don't know how much it is um at the moment i'm hopeful that it's going to give me a decent amount um but i'm not holding out too much hope oh there's another bandit base are you serious really Okay, uh, I guess we will do that, even though you've already seen something like that, I guess. Uh, I don't really like repeating the same thing again and again, unless it's me attempting to redeem myself in a tournament, potentially. But yeah, um, as you can see, my workshop is giving me 100 dinars at the moment. Oh, no. Uh, I'm actually not entirely pleased about that. I was actually hoping for maybe a little bit better than that, but... Maybe it's just going to take a little bit of time to kick in. I know that sometimes whenever you purchase an enterprise, it does take a little bit of time to sort of catch up with itself, so to speak. So maybe the economy just needs to pick up a bit and then hopefully it will start churning in some decent cash. This is actually one of those moments where I would love to have the super speed mod. Uh, there is obviously the super speed mod when you, well, I mean, technically it's not super speed, but you know what I mean? You basically get eliminated and then you can speed things up. But unfortunately, I can't speed things up in the battle itself. I would like to be able to do that just because these kinds of situations are, I wouldn't say that they are foregone conclusions, but I would definitely say that they are a lot easier for us to deal with, with, I mean, literally, you know, my units, right? You know? I've got a bunch of broccoli and a bunch of eggplants in here. I know. Yes, it is an absolutely ridiculous name. I know. But I have a bunch of those guys in here, and they are going to absolutely obliterate any of these enemy units, and I don't really need to, you know, participate as such. I just hit that tree. Wow, couldn't do that again if I tried. Ah, it's one of those, isn't it? Yes, indeed. All right, so here is the bandit boss, and uh, this time around I'm actually going to allow my forces to attack. I'd like to actually see how effective it is to do it this way instead. I'm still using my mining pick. Oh, <laughs> it's good that I didn't agree to the duel then, isn't it? Okay, phew, uh, I was a bit worried there for a second, although I probably shouldn't be because my, my custom units are pretty strong, as we know. But yeah, we gained 1,100 dinars just from defeating the enemies here, and we're also going to be getting 3,000 for the completion of the task. And on top of that, we're also going to be getting a massive amount of loot. So we can now sell the loot, and hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to show you that. What? Really? Only 1,300? I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I'm actually kind of surprised. I would have expected much more than that, to be honest. Okay, that's, uh, that's kind of strange. Okay, well, I'm going to be... Wait a minute. Is there no camel? Is there... No... Wait a minute. This doesn't work for a camel, right? Obviously, it's not going to work for a camel, but I was actually hoping that maybe it would. Okay, so obviously it doesn't. Okay, that's actually really, really interesting. Okay, so I guess I will just sell all of the things again, and then we will just, you know, go over here and just equip our sword once more. But yeah, okay, that's actually very interesting. So I do need a different kind of saddle. Obviously, I kind of knew that already, but I thought, hey, you know, maybe uh, maybe it's, maybe it's not going to require that. But uh, yeah, oh well, it doesn't really matter that much anyway all right so let's take a quick look at the 
Reformian clan for a real quick second. Because what I would like to do is I would like to find where Amaliana is. So where is she? Uh, this place. Where is this? This is... Oh! <laughs> okay. Yeah, hello there. Alright, so I have 7,300 gold and it is very, very far away. Alright, this gives me a good opportunity. Alright, this gives me a good opportunity. We're going to try to continue to think positively about these kinds of things. And we've also got to bear in mind that Darien... Uh, wait, wait a minute. Was it Darien? No, Lotus. Wait! Where's Lotus gone? Oh. Oh, now. Oh, now I'm... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Okay. You know where Lotus has gone, right? Yeah, she joined this guy. I had no idea that this... See, now we don't have a... Now we don't have a surgeon. I thought to myself, is that going to happen in the previous episode when I agreed to that marriage? I thought to myself about that. And I thought, no, 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 there's no way that's going to happen, right? Uh, yeah, it did. <sighs> ah, yes. Okay, so that means that if I... Alright, if I agree to any marriage proposals, I have to be very careful about how that goes in the future. That is very, very bad. Okay. Um, but where... where you know what? I'm gonna... Should I try to woo Lotus back to our clan? Should I try to court her myself and actually get her to um, to marry us instead? That might actually be amusing. So I'm going to see whether that's even possible. Maybe it's not even possible, but I'm going to try it nevertheless. Okay, so I'm going to recruit a bunch of potatoes now. Yeah. Okay, so um, how many can I actually get? Uh, let's get... Uh, let's get 40. There we go. Cost me 5,500. Ouch. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty significant. All right. So, yeah, now we're paying 630. Is there an escort caravan mission that we could possibly do? No, there isn't. That is very sad. Oh, well, never mind. All right. So, let's move on. Let's move on and see if we can make our way over. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty far away, isn't it? Okay, wait a minute. Why is this marked? I don't... I, why does that happen to me? I have no idea. Any single time I try to move somewhere, all of a sudden I've marked some random town or another. But yeah, anyway. Um, we should be able to very easily eliminate most bandits along the way. And they're going to give me deserters. They're going to give me some nice loot and everything. And everything's just going to be so much better. Or at least we can only cross our fingers and hope that it will be so much better. Because I don't have that much money anymore after spending it all to um, <laughs> to recruit those uh, those turnips or whatever they were. So this is a little bit problematic. I really wish tournaments were a, a good way of getting cash. Because they are definitely not a good way of getting cash any further. Which is kind of sad in itself. But you know what? I'm actually going to try something a little bit different here. We are going to use this mace. And we're going to go into... The, the realm of the banished right now let's do it now this mace is obviously really good for uh, close quarters combat oh, oh, wait a minute wait a minute let me just do this properly there we go so yeah this mace is really good for close quarters combat and I'm very much hoping that I will have a good chance of at least living a little bit longer than I usually do Bear in mind that this is actually not a bad way of gaining cash as well. I mean, you get 52 dinars every single time you kill someone, which is actually not bad. And you do get a whole bunch of resources too. So even if, you know, even if you do need some money in a pinch, getting five kills or so is not too bad. Although every single day I am having 600 gold be taken from me, which is ooh, a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit tough, a little bit tough. So... I'm very much hoping that we will come across a wonderful task that we'll be able to uh, 
hopefully do. Maybe the escort caravan mission would be the best, but that is going to take us into some random destination somewhere or another, so that might not even be the way to go. Bunch of other enemies over here. Can I hit this guy from here? No, I didn't. What? How is he avoiding that? Okay, that was that was interesting. All right. I guess I was just not seeing where his head actually was and I was shooting over him or something, but oh well, whatever the case, there's another one right here. There we go, nice neck shot. And take out this guy, there we go. And I'm just I'm I'm just trying to just trying to earn a little bit of money, you know, a little bit of money, a little bit of resources here and there. And we can always try to improve our settlement even more over time. And I'm actually really surprised I haven't been swarmed yet. There's the jinx. Oh uh, yes. I will now start to get swarmed. What do you bet? I'm actually really surprised. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This guy actually survived a headshot. Okay, very good. Oh, mania demon. It's a mania demon. Okay, hello there. All right. Okay, that's uh, that's talking quite a little bit of uh, increased business there, shall we say? <laughs> increased business. Uh, he, he has he has a, a grade two business license. Yes, grade two. Uh, there's actually someone over there. Can I snipe them from here? Unlikely, right? They're in the mist. It's very difficult. There we go. Wow. Uh, this is actually the best I've done in the entirety of the time me playing this mod. That guy didn't even see me. Super surprised about that, to be honest. Seems like our stealth, uh, our stealth is very much intact. I'm super surprised. Okay. <laughs> is it just because I'm, I'm continuing to move? Maybe that's it. You know, I'm continuing to move forward and I'm kind of sticking around the outside. Oh, hello there. Oh dear. This is the beginning of the end, I believe. Possibly. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've got my mace. You cannot beat me in terms of speed any further, fellow. Yeah, see? Now that is exactly what I'm talking about. You see that? That is the reason why we were having so many difficulties before with our sword, for example. Because I literally cannot do anything with the sword. The sword is going to make things so, so difficult for me to get any hits in whatsoever because of the attack speed. The attack speed of the sword is just too slow. It's very good on horseback and that's that you know that that isn't um that isn't in question here but the ability to fight back in a close quarters combat duel that sword is not going to do very well there which is amusing considering it was actually a tournament reward um so you'd expect that the the thing that you gained from the tournament would actually be kind of good in a tournament right but yeah um can, can i exit this actually i mean i i think i i don't know i i think i'm i'm Oh, okay. That hasn't been translated yet, and it says you cannot leave here. I assume, yes, something like that. Oh, this is oh, well, this is very interesting. I'm actually wondering whether I can even. I I, I don't know. I haven't <laughs> I haven't survived this long. This is actually super super strange. Um, I I actually wonder whether I can even get to somewhere here. Is there actually a place that I can find in the land of the banished? I I wouldn't know. I mean, there's a there's actually a corpse here. Look at that. Wait a minute. Did I just walk around in circles? Okay, there we go. Easy enough. Oh, it seems like they're actually now starting to murder me. Oh, this guy's got a two-handed. How can you possibly hope to win against me, sir? There is no way. Not in a million years. I'll try again later, thank you. <laughs> there is no way that that guy can actually do anything with a two-handed. Especially with, when someone has a one-handed mace. Ooh, there's a bunch of enemies over here. Let's actually... It seems like they are now the hunted and we are the hunter. 
Yes. Or maybe not now. Although I am using this guy's body to protect myself against his friend. So that's actually kind of good. Okay, not too bad. Um, we're almost dead, so... I'm gonna assume that this is the beginning of the end. This is another mania demon. I wouldn't mind fighting this guy and actually winning against him, and then I wouldn't mind dying after that. There we go. Alright, so now, can you kill me, sir? Sir? I, uh, I would like to leave this place. Thank you. I would like to leave this place. Could you uh, could you take care of that? Oh wow! Yeah, they absolutely um, <laughs> they definitely have my number at the end there, whether I wanted to or not. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was very funny. But look at this. We now have two thousand five hundred gold. Super nice. All right. I am very pleased about that, and now we can move on. I'm actually wondering. Did I did I gain experience with my forces? No, I didn't gain any experience right there. But I gained some experience with. I didn't gain any experience with one-handed. What? Okay. Apparently, I don't gain any experience in one-handed when I am in the land of the banished. I gotta say, I'm very disappointed by that. I would have expected us to gain experience in that place. That would be a really nice place to level up your skills and things like that and to try out... You know, different strategies, different weapon types, and so on. Because it's basically a... Um, it's it's kind of like a tournament, I guess. It's kind of like a tournament, but a little bit... Um, I guess a little bit safer, because you're not actually spending money. But you don't really have to bet on yourself in a tournament, all things considered. Oh, there's actually a war going on now. Oh, there's a war going on against uh, Lotus's new faction. That's actually rather amusing, isn't it? Okay, hello there. Okay, a courier with a marriage offer for Melethvon. I'm going to say no. <laughs> because Melethvon is very, very good with her bow. As you can see, she has 190 in bows. And we do need to get her some new armor and things like that. So we will hopefully be able to do it soon enough and i'm actually going to go into this battle there's 32 enemy units don't think we've ever fought these people before so this is going to be um maybe a little bit interesting but i can assume that they might just be standard desert bandits or something like that but whatever the case i wouldn't mind getting a little bit of skill in something because as i said before i, I felt like i should have definitely gained some some skills in the uh, the banished lands but oh well never mind can I can I get some can I get some bow skill please? These guys all have pretty good shields, so it's making it difficult. There we go. Ow. They all have thrown weapons as well. Seems like many of the enemies in this mod very much love thrown weapons. Like myself. I mean I, I can't blame them for that, right? I can't blame them for that. I love thrown weapons. So there's definitely <laughs> there's definitely a way for them. To uh, enjoy themselves with the wonderful ragdolls that they can cause. And maybe I can get a little bit more pole arm skill. Yes, nice. There we go. You know, one of those things where I think to myself sometimes, maybe it would be quicker for me to just go in, get myself killed, and then just fast forward the rest of the battle. But obviously that's, most of the time, probably not the best idea, right? Probably not the best idea. Anyway gonna get some prisoners we can level up these guys bear in mind that me leveling these guys up is also increasing my weekly wage but i'm very much hoping that the mercenary wages that we're going to be gaining are going to counterbalance that so do bear that in mind hopefully that will work for us <laughs> hopefully increase your swing speed with pole arms yes indeed thank you very much for that all right so now let's actually just stick around this area here i'm actually wondering whether there's going to be oh there was a there was a random event and i just quit it by mistake certainly didn't mean to do that Ooh, hello there all right we have a vassal we have spotted a vassal and we will now be doing battle with them let's do this okay wait a minute yeah let's do this okay i just had to make sure oh oh there's two of them do you think we can win against two? 
I'm I, I I don't know. I I don't know. This might be uh, this might be a little bit problematic. Okay. Um I'm actually just going to take a look here real quick. No. Okay. Yeah, there's there's nothing else in the journal, but yeah. Uh let's um oh, this guy doesn't want to fight. Oh, that is hilarious. Okay, he basically just left this vassal to her fate. Okay, that's really interesting. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go and attack. I'm at 62% HP, a bit worried about that, but we are going to need to achieve victory if I am going to survive my weekly wages, or my daily wages, that is. All right, here we go. I have 21 arrows, let's make the best of them. And I would like to be able to earn some extra cash because my cash at the moment is so low that I don't even have enough to be able to spend any on uh, upgrades for armor or anything like that. I'm actually just, I'm not going to go into an auto delegate right now. I'm just going to tell my forces just to hold position over here. And I'm going to try and do a little bit of damage to the, oh, nice damage to the enemy right there. Oh, nice. Good. Oh, I like, I like the hits that I've got going on here. Very nice. Can I actually get a bit of damage on the enemy? Is that, is that the enemy leader? No, that is not the enemy leader, but definitely does a lot of damage. 73 damage to my arm. Ouch. That's got to hurt. All right. I would very much like to not have that happen again, because that will be my death. Okay, let me see. Can I get some, can I get some accuracy? Whoa, wow. That guy is super, super armored. I literally was only able to do 16 damage to his chest. So he must have some amazing armor on whoever that was. Okay, I've got to be careful here. Got to be careful. Ow. Got to be careful, he says. Get shot. Yes. Fantastic. All right. So let's do auto-delegate now. My archers will probably do a very, very good job as they, as they do, you know, as they do. And I'm going to get shot by this guy. Oh, that was close. Okay, that was real close. You know how I said in one of the previous episodes? Oh. <laughs> okay, that was, that was funny. All right, that was funny. Look at that. That was a flying horse if ever I saw one. That was amazing. I want to see more of that, please. Those kinds of ragdolls are absolutely amazing. They are super funny to see. Ah, uh, that is that is very very cool. Can we can we eliminate? I would like to very much eliminate myself so that we can. Uh, when, uh, not in that way, obviously. I don't want to eliminate myself, but I would like to eliminate this vassal myself. Yes, there we go. There we go. Fantastic. We actually did do it. <laughs> uh, taken out by vegetables. Can you believe it? All right, there we go. All right, fantastic. So um, I'm actually wondering whether I should take a prisoner or whether I shouldn't. I need money, but I'm also wondering whether the charm would be pretty good for us because maybe we want to marry her at some point if she's not actually already married. No, she's already married, so it makes no sense. Uh, she does have a bunch of children, but obviously that doesn't really make sense either at the moment. They're way too young, and uh, her combat skills are not even that good, so... I guess I will just let her go for now. We do have enough prisoners here anyway, and I gained a huge amount of... Oh, no. <sighs> I really want to level my forces up super badly, actually. So I'm going to do that, but you should not do this. If you, if you are in the same situation, you shouldn't do this, but I'm doing this for, um, shall we say, uh, drama. <laughs> I'm doing this for drama and for uh, a little bit of um, dramaticism, potentially. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, what do I get myself into, hey? What do I get myself into? This is very bad. Very bad for me to do this. Okay. Um, I'm actually wondering, can I, can I deal with this guy? I think I should be able to deal with this guy, but I really want to sell. Uh, Naota is the closest... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll go, we'll, we'll go in. We'll go in for a fight. We'll go in for the fight. And uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. I actually don't know. Can I actually fight this? Yes, I can. I can actually go into the fight. This is very, very funny. Usually, I'm not going to be able to go in at this level of HP. 
But I'm going to just tell my forces just to do their own thing, and I'm just going to stay on the outskirts and try to be super safe. That's pretty much all I'm really going to try to do here. That is the best option. Nice hit. Oh, nice hit. Okay. Going to pat myself on the back for that. Usually I'm never able to get um, such accurate shots against the enemy's cavalry. actually eliminated one of their triple pointed blade infantry units i have no idea what kind of tier that is but from judging from the damage that i was able to do to their chest i assume it's pretty high tier and as a result of that i probably would have gained some pretty nice experience from it too so that means everything because obviously if we're far far enough away and i'm riding at a pretty significant speed i'm going to gain even more experience from making the shot difficult you know what i mean so that's hopefully the way it went and hopefully um hopefully i'm gonna gain some good skill from it and it seems like we are definitely going to achieve victory here super easily in actual fact we literally just had zero casualties i mean these vassals right here they mostly had recruits that is the main deal. I think I would probably even be able to eliminate... Wow, okay, that was actually a really nice block from that guy. But uh, yeah, I think I would probably even be able to eliminate a vassal that had double my army size. I might be thinking a bit too... <laughs> I might be getting a bit too overconfident with that particular assumption, but... I don't know. Maybe not, you know? Maybe not. Maybe I would actually be able to do something with that. Wow, okay, that was... Yeah, she, she she just got absolutely bombarded right there. All right, there we go. 6.3 renown, not too bad. Good amount of influence, too. And we're going to... I'm actually wondering whether I should... Wait a minute. Uh, is she married? Yeah, all, all of these people are. And she's also pregnant. Okay, well, I'm going to let her go. Just generally. And, uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to swap out the deserters and the very low-tier troops, and then we're just going to be taking the rest. I have no more money at all, and so that's it. So I'm going to have to very quickly get back to uh, Naota, and then we are going to sell my stuff. Obviously, bear in mind, we've been in this situation before in one of my other series, where we started as an impoverished mercenary captain and we had basically no money to start with and a huge amount of troops to pay and so on. And uh, we were consistently in the red, pretty much. We, we had no way of uh, making money early game and uh, I got myself out of that. So I should be able to do that here too. So anyway, let's just do this. Ooh, this guy looks cool. He doesn't have very good skills. He's got some good good scouting skill. But apart from that, not so much. So not really looking forward to uh, to recruiting him or anything. But uh, yes, otherwise, let's actually just take a quick look here. Okay, these boots are slightly better than what I was wearing. I mean, <laughs> I should really try to buy some armor, to be honest, because it feels to me like I've been wearing this armor for the whole game so far. And it would probably be really nice for me to get something a little bit better. But you know how it is, you know. Sometimes you're just unable to do it. These, wow, these actually look remarkably comfortable. Okay, well, whatever the case, boom, there you go. 7,600 from the various loot. I'm actually going to sell the camel as well. That's 8,600. And I'm going to sell a little bit of grain as well. Don't really need that much grain. I'm going to buy some fish, buy some butter buy some cheese, olives, meat. Wow, there's a huge amount of huge amount of food here available. And there we go, 6,100 from that. And now I can actually advance the remainder of my units as well. And we still have money left over. Ooh, yeah, I like it, I like it. All right, and we are now at war once again. So this gives me the opportunity to hopefully do battle against a couple more vassals and maybe even become a vassal myself. But I obviously have to spend a little bit longer, in my opinion, just 
building up my resources, trying to get uh, enough money so that if I do become a vassal, the, the, the daily wages of almost 1,800 are not going to completely cripple us uh, for, the, for the rest of the time. So anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.